thinking it's all about you, you know, because honestly, you live in a world with everybody else, right? And compassion is key, right? If you don't care about anybody, they're not going to care about you, right? And then, we'll, you know, we already have trouble with people not caring, so we have to have compassion. Always associate yourself with very positive people. I've learned that in life. Very positive people, you know, you don't want to go, you try to save everybody, you know, all the kids, you know, you're going to have stuff. And I used to tell Kaylin that when he was younger, you know, like he would come to me and say like, this kid is having a lot of trouble in, in school. And I'd be like, well, you know, you have to be a good role model for him and try, you know, and Kaylin would try to go out at lunchtime and he'd be like, I couldn't find him today, but I tried, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 you know, his teachers would always say that he was very compassionate, you know, like he always cared about others and would help. Right? And so it's really important to, to remember that, you know, you want to associate yourself not only with the people who are having you can't, right? You want to associate yourself with people who will bring you up also. And I know that for a fact because naturally it, it has happened to me. I've always been very fortunate to be in the right space and meet people, you know, way beyond my, you know, ability to, to reach them in a normal setting. Right? So just remember, you know, find good associations. Um, the last thing that I wanted to say is, um, you know, success is, you know, one of the things about success is having good health, right? If you don't have good health, you know, all of the other things that, you know, you're enjoying wouldn't matter, right? So we have to take care of ourselves, you know? As young ladies and, um, you know, men, we want to try to eat right, you know, I'm, and I'm not saying by any means, you know, I don't eat everything correct, right? Like, mm -hmm. I definitely have things that, you know, I shouldn't be eating at times, but I do, right? But I try my very best to eat or not eat, right? Because we, we need energy, we need nutrition, and um, that kind of like falls into mental health, right? Because, you know, we're dealing with a lot, we live in a difficult world today, and so we need to make sure that our mental health is together. And my way of always, you know, keeping my mental health intact after, you know, everyone comes to me and tell me everything that they need is that, you know, I have to go to the gym, I, you know, I do Zumba, I take a walk, you know, but that's really important. If you see me getting very cranky, it's because I haven't, you know, exercised or, or done some sort of physical activity. That's really important to me and, you know, I've learned in my mental health, right? So for you guys, you know, you always hear you're dancing and stuff, but just kind of remember, you know, like eating right and, you know, you need energy to dance, you need everything. So, you know, that's kind of, you know, the things that, you know, I do. And, um, you know, I don't really see myself as being like, you know, just so and I'm truly grateful. Um, I thank God for, you know, like grace on my life and my children every day. You know, Joshua just graduated on Thursday. So, you know, we have three kids that graduated now and, um, you know, I'm looking forward to graduating Kaylin and, and they and, you know, I told them that somehow they have to pay me some kind of money. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not all scot free like that, you know. Um, but, um, you know, we, we really, you know, encourage them to, to do the best that they can. And I think a lot of my success, you know, I see, you know, and I cherish through my kids. Right? And so when even when I see you guys, you know, it gives me great pleasure to sit and watch you and, you know, become really excited. So, you know, that's sort of, you know, so you're a real good example in that way also for the kids to see that, you know, sometimes, you know, we have new stuff and it may seem hard, but it does get a little bit better. Now I can do the dance with my eyes closed. I couldn't say that before. <laughs> right? So I even know what stage left and right is. <laughs> <laughs> Sandra said that the first time, I'm like, go where? <laughs> so, um, you know, never say, you know, no. Um, so we're almost to the end. Having compassion for others, you know, to me, is really important in life, right? If you don't have compassion, and that's something that I'm seeing a little bit less in my students, you know, they just don't care. It's a bit of a selfish behavior. During the pandemic, you know, they were arguing with me. One a thousand people were dying a day. And they're like, well, when are we going to, oh, because we want to graduate and stuff. And I'm like, listen, you know, a thousand people are dying. Like, you know, are you thinking that I should send you out there and then you go kill your you doing more. If you're just walking around every day, same thing, you know, you're not growing. Um, 
I always, you know, say that I can't is never an option, right? You must always try. Because if you just say, I can't, that's kind of like shutting everything down. Now, I didn't think I could dance at all, <laughs> right, to, to save my life in that sense. Like, you know, when I walked in here, Sandra said, you know, I think I was doing Zumba. And she was like, well, you got to bring it in and slow down a little bit, right? But, you know, I was able to do it, right? But I probably, you know, I didn't think that I would be able to remember all of that. When I look at you guys, you know, my, you do some stuff like this. I, I'm in the mirror every day trying it right now. And I'm like, I have to learn how to do this, right? But, you know, I mean, it's definitely, I appreciate what you guys do so much now because I realize how hard it is. But, you know, but they understand that for them, it's limitless. They can do whatever they want. They can be whatever they want. And um, the biggest thing that, you know, I you know, would like to see with my kids or the, the expectation that I have of them is that they are kind and they're, um, you know, one of the things that, that I have to say is I also give them the foundation and faith, you know. I make sure that Kaylan and they and, you know, Sydney, everyone understands, that, you know, that they have to have faith. They have to have somebody bigger also to depend on and that when, you know, they're in a bad situation or things that they feel like they can't control, that they need to also know that you know, there is somebody bigger working with them. And you know, that's something that they need to work on on their own. I pro provide the foundation, but it's up to them to, you know, definitely do it and, and, and show them that if I can do it, you can do it too, right? So I'm not one of those parents that just, you know, say do it. So it's always something that I'm doing. But you know, again, you know, I truly believe that, um, you know, a big part of our existence is to help others, right? And to just kind of like be there. Again, going back to purpose, right? So for me, doing things and, you know, I really feel like I get a lot from making others happy and just, you know, seeing a smile on their face. So that's important to me. So, you know, if I can do that, you know, I feel very successful with what I'm doing and, you know, just helping others. And I realize, you know, that is a big part of me and so, it's never really a big deal for me to do anything. Um, the only thing I would say is that, you know, my family, you know, will never suffer as a result of that because, you know, I always put them first, right? They are my number one priority. If I have a job that will take me away from them, that's not a job that I can keep because I, I truly believe that they are my first priority. I wrote here, Maya asked me, how are you able to do so many things? <laughs> How are you able to do so many things? And, you know, I, you know, I thought about your question a lot because, you know, for me, sometimes I do things and I, I don't really think about it, right? Because I'm just so used to doing it. But, you know, I, I said to Carlton last night, I was like, you know, what, what do you think, you know, about this um, particular question that Maya asked me? And he said, um, you know, he says, you do so many things. I've always been a planner, right? And, you know, I'm a planner until you want to get rid of me sometimes. <laughs> I plan every single little thing. You know, kids are, you know, I'm like, well, we should put aside $10 every month for that. That type of annoying planner, right? So, you know, it, it's not something that is stemming from nowhere. This is my personality, right? I'm used to, you know, I have five kids. I'm used to juggling a lot of, of things, you know, they all come to me, you know. For me, it's, you know, staying grounded in my faith and, you know, really believing that nothing is impossible. And, I, you know, and this has really, you know, led my life, you know. I truly believe, you know, I came from another country, um, you know, as a teenager here. And, you know, I had goals and things that I wanted to see. And, and I knew that I had to work hard for it. But, you know, I'm really grateful for the opportunity in the United States because, I feel in this country, and with all of you being here too, there's nothing that you cannot achieve, right? You, with hard work and determination, I think anything is possible, right? And, you know, for me, having faith that I trust in God, I, you know, when I don't know how to deal with something, I put my life in His hands and I say, you know, this is beyond me, you know, please take care of it, you know? And sometimes you just have to realize that. It's not just you. And for, for me, that really does help to guide my life. Try something new, she would tell me no. But then when I, you know, was not in the area, she would then go try it, right? She liked that. <laughs> um, you know, one of the things that, that I have to say is, 
I also give them the foundation in faith, you know. I make sure that Kaylan and they, and you know, Sydney, everyone understands that, you know, that they have to have faith. They have to have somebody bigger also to depend on. And that when, you know, they're in a bad situation or things that they feel like they can't control, that they need to also know that, you know, there is somebody bigger working with them. And, you know, that's something that they need to work on on their own. I pro provide the foundation, but it's up to them to, you know, definitely do it and, and, and show them that if I can do it, you can do it too, right? So I'm not one of those parents that just, you know, say do it. On when it comes to that. Success, you know, again, is in the eye of the beholder because, you know, how many of you know people, maybe some of on the internet, right? Like, um, what is that young girl made that was one danced on Dancing with the Stars? Yeah, Charlie. yeah, Charlie, right? You know, in, in our eyes, you know, do you see her as being successful? Yeah. Right? So to it, <laughs> right, but there are certain, right? Some people will, some people won't. But do you realize that even people with, you know, who are successful in certain things are sometimes, you know, not successful in another area, maybe? You know, they, they might have depression, they may be sad, you know. How many people do we know that have, they have lots of money but yet they feel a sense of loss, right? And, and you know, not necessarily a purpose, as Sandra would say, right? So it's, it's important to really, you know, have purpose. You know, I, I feel that I have a lot of purpose in my household because, you know, I'm always, you know, that person that my kids turn to. And, you know, I feel like I am, you know, a guide. You know, I try my very best to, to be a, a good example for them, right? So, um,